Uh, it's lovely to speak to you guys today. And what a what a chance, what, what a show to speak to you about. I mean, 20 years. I mean, sometimes it takes the benefit of time, of hindsight, of reflection to be able to look back and think, wow, that show was revolutionary. Could you guys tell at the time, when do I, when do I come to you first, that, that that first time you read the script, did you sit up and think, hang on, this this I've never read anything like this before? When I first read the script, I thought, oh, this is unique. Hmm. Uh, it's authentic. It's really good. And um, and then when I first saw the first episode, I thought, oh, no, this isn't going to make it. It's going to be canceled. It's too slow. It was, it was a different way. Uh, you know, television, I was so accustomed to, you know, um, the introduction of a case and then it's solved in a half an hour. And so when I saw the pace of it, I thought, oh, no, we're going to be canceled. And then it wasn't until years later that we started to get a following that I knew. Uh, now we have something special. People are starting to following it and follow it in a way that um, was cult-like even, and uh, that it was um, unique. We knew then it was unique uh, that uh, to have a visual novel that David Simon was always talking about uh, and the development of character in place um, and story over a couple of chapters is what he was trying to do but on television. Like a good novel. So by the end of it, I knew we had something special. And hmm. uh, Dominic, do you ever go back and watch it? I mean, I mean, obviously, a lot of actors don't even watch anything they make. But the why, because it's just, you know, there are reruns on the TV sometimes, and there's always kind of every few years it might get sort of people are talking about it again. Do you ever sit down and just give it a watch? <laughs> I haven't actually, no, but I, I, not since, well, not since we finished it, but I, uh, mainly because my watching is completely dictated by my kids and my wife. And, but now the kids are sort of 13 and, um, and I'll, I'll, I'm keen to watch it. So we're, we're sort of planning it for in the next, in the next few weeks. I'm going to, my two boys, they're really keen to see it. And, and I'm really keen to see it because I, um, I remember I, I mean, we watched it every Sunday when it came out, uh, usually as a cast together. Um, and uh, and and then in the fifth season, when I had to direct an episode, I watched the whole thing the whole way through. And I that that was the first time it really impacted me just how what is the, the epic quality of it and how what a you know, what a, a, a massive achievement it was really. And um, so and I so I've been a bit scared from watching it since then. I've been sort of I don't want to be disappointed, but but now my boys are sort of insisting on it. And I I'm really look, I'm. I'm quite looking forward to it because I can't stand watching myself, but there's plenty of everyone else to enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, because when do I mean it is a show that exa examines kind of systematic systematic bias and power imbalance, and it, you know, I mean maybe sort of naively, so I would have watched this sort of twenty years ago and thought, oh, in twenty years' time, we'll be talking about wasn't life mad back then? But is it quite chilling to think that it's twenty years now after this show started and things haven't perhaps kind of improved uh, beyond what we see in 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 the wire? Uh, and, and in fact, I think it's gotten worse, mm. and so um, it's just a reminder that. Uh, that we have to be ever vigilant, mm. that this is not something that um, we can let our guard down with, that they're, the barbarians are at the gates. Mm. We uh, find a way to make it a part, going paradigm to fight all these forces that are so, uh, you know, the American dysfunction mm. is at the point where, you know, the, the values of America what we aspire to, this experiment of a more perfect union um, is at stake now, you know? Uh, uh, our, our society um, is falling apart. Roman Empire ended, you know? The, uh, the sun setting on the British Empire has ended. And, you know, um, there's a lot of times in the past couple of years, I was wondering if uh, this American um, empire is ending itself. Uh, and so uh, it's, it was a cautionary tale then it's almost a survivor's guide now mm. right we have to make sure that things change or we are going to self-destruct mm. 
And, and, and Dominic, I'm coming to you next. I mean, yeah, you mentioned, you know, this is a show that you're now getting the chance to share with your kids, but it's a show that you got the chance to share with so many wonderful actors and collaborators when you made it. Um, do you guys ever get the chance to, are there ever any kind of cast for unions or, you know, a, a wild WhatsApp group? Or is it one of those things where when you've shared something like this, or when you see another cast member on a set, you always have that, this thing that you guys share together? Oh, unquestionably, yeah, more than, more than anything anything else I've done. And, um, uh, you know, I, Wendell and, and uh, several other cast members are godparents of my children. We, we can't quite remember which, which ones, but... Uh, <laughs> but um, and, and unfortunately, I, because I don't live in the States, I don't get to bump into them that much on, at work or in, in the street. But, uh, but Wendell's great about coming over. He came from my birthday party, my daughter's birthday party, and Andre came as well. And uh, Wendell gave all my children money because he couldn't remember which one was his godchild. <laughs> so true, man. <laughs> Lost about 500 bucks that way. Um, and uh, so, so, yeah, I mean, and we get, uh, uh, you know, sad occasions like, um, like Michael's death and, and yes. that, that, you know, like, it, like in real life, you, you do, they tend to be, the older you get, they tend to be the times that you, you come together. Um, but I know, uh, I, I know Wendell sees a lot more of Sonia. I haven't seen Sonia for a while, actually. I'm, I'm dying to see her. And I, yeah. I, whenever I, Sonia, and whenever I just, I... Sonia and I just did Mardi Gras together because she's shooting. She was shooting down in New Orleans, so she she was at, she had a ball at, at Mardi Gras. And I thought at the time we went down there for Mardi Gras. And yeah. uh, right now I'm actually shooting with Clark, um, Are you? with Clark Johnson. Clark Johnson is directing right. me in a episode of a, a television show. And so the reunions are great. Yeah, and that reminds, actually, I did. I've done quite a bit of work with Clark Peters, who plays um, Freeman. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so I did Othello with him, and I did. I did so I, I and when I lived in London, I saw quite a lot of him. But um, no, it's it's always it's a really significant bond that we all have, and and that I, we sort of go straight back into as soon as we see each other. Mm. And Wendell, son, you sound like a good godfather. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like the best brilliant it was so they, funny. Love, they love it when Wendell comes yeah, everyone walking me your godson is waiting for you and I say yes and I, walking up and I say hey listen I'm your godfather you just remember Uncle Wendell from America came and gave you this and then the other son came over and he said godfather and I was like wait, wait. oh shit <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time today, guys. It's been a real pleasure speaking to you. It is one of the, one of the best, the best show of all time. Oh, <laughs> it truly is. I'm sure you heard that a lot today, but take care. Thank you so much. Thanks, thank Stefan. You. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.